Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about Trilicity. So you probably hear or see on TV uh, or on other advertising channels about Trilicity. Again, I do not work for Trilicity, so I'm just going to talk about Trilicity. Uh, since I'm a diabetes doctor and I see patients with diabetes all day long, uh, we have a virtual diabetes care center where you do not even have to go to the doctor. So we actually see you from home. We send your prescriptions in, we follow you every day through an app so that uh, you don't actually have to do anything. So we do everything for you. Uh, now, in case you're prescribed Trulicity or if you decide to prescribe a Trulicity, we will go over some features of Trulicity so you're not in the dark, so you understand what's going on with you and the medication. So, uh, Trulicity uh, is a gastrointestinal hormone. So your doctors will prescribe this medication or similar medications such as Bidurian, Bieta, uh, Ozempic, uh, and so forth. There are some medications similar uh, to Trulicity. Uh, some of them are better than the others. Uh, in my opinion, the best medication in the market in terms of the uh, GLP-1 class is Ozempic and Ribelsis, uh, since they have a proven record of uh, the best efficacy and, and weight loss in terms of helping with diabetes. So although uh, Ozempic is better than Trulicity, uh, I sometimes your insurance will only cover Trulicity, uh, and I think it's still worth giving a shot uh, uh, if your insurance does not cover Trulicity or Ribelsis. Um, in this case, uh, I'll, uh, I'll tell you a couple uh, uh, features of Trulicity. First of all, it's a gastrointestinal hormone and it makes your body make the insulin. Uh, so this, the way it works is that normally when you eat food, uh, your gastrointestinal hormones get activated to stimulate the insulin in your system. Uh, now, in patients with diabetes, this unfortunately is not working very well. Uh, as a result, uh, uh, these medications uh, boost the gastrointestinal hormones so that your body can respond with insulin, uh, respond with insulin to the food intake. Uh, the good thing about these medications, including Ozempic, Trulicity, uh, uh, Bidurin, etc., uh, they do not necessarily uh, drop your blood sugars uh, if you didn't eat well or if you're exercising too much. You know, as as a diabetic, you probably know what actually can drop your blood sugars. So um, insulin can definitely drop your blood sugars. There are some medications like gliposide, glyburide, glimepiride. Those are the medications that actually force you to eat. Uh, on the other hand, uh, medications like Ozempic or Trulicity, uh, actually they uh, reduce your appetite and they actually encourage you not to eat. Uh, so that's a good feature because you will end up losing weight. Uh, so what happens with these medications, again, your body realizes there's food early on, uh, so it increases your appetite and fullness sensation. So as a result, uh, the weight loss happens. Uh, appetite goes down as well. It basically uh, slows your um, it slows your gastrointestinal system as well. So anytime uh, you eat something, the the next time you get hungry is going to be much later. Uh, so uh, that's also another feature that these medications help your body. Uh, there are some hormones also in our system that actually uh, goes up after we eat, which uh, paradoxically elevate your blood sugars uh, in patients with diabetes. Uh, we call that hormone glucagon and that hormone is suppressed with uh, Trulicity or Ozempic or Bidurin and as a result um, uh, you know you will uh, have um, a better chance of preventing a spike in your blood sugars. Now what are the side effects? Since these are gastrointestinal hormones uh, basically your body uh, will have some reaction to it, uh, such as uh, nausea, diarrhea, uh, constipation, and so forth. Um, so uh, that, those side effects are generally temporary, so if you can deal with it uh, for a couple of weeks, they tend to go away. Uh, it may not, but uh, in most cases they do go away. Uh, appetite reduction may persist, so you may lose actually a lot of weight. Uh, again, Ozempic has been proven to be much better than Trulicity in terms of weight loss efficacy and, and, and A1C reduction, uh, but Trulicity does a fair job as well. Uh, the good thing about Trulicity is it's pretty easy to use uh, for patients who are um, uh, really uh, not very handy with medications, you know, they are super scared of medications, uh, especially with injections. Uh, it may be easier to use this uh, since it is only turning a knob. Uh, 
uh, to green, from red to green. And then all you have to do, uh, take this cap off, uh, put that to your skin. That's generally the abdomen uh, or the, uh, the thigh you can use. Um, and all you have to do is push the button and hold it for 10 seconds. Um, so, and then this is um, uh, disposable. So after, the, after you use that medication, you throw it away. A couple of things you have to be careful when you use Trulicity because the, uh, the shelf life outside of it is only two weeks. So if you are uh, mailed the medication to your door and if you forget to put into your fridge, uh, then your three month supply may go wasted uh, just because you did not refrigerate uh, the medication immediately. The, uh, the, uh, the shelf life is only two weeks. Now, if you are using Ozempic, that is eight weeks. So even if you forgot to uh, put in the fridge, you're not gonna lose the whole uh, 90 day supply. Uh, so that's one of the advantages of Ozempic over Trulicity. But the good thing about Trulicity is that they, they hide the needle. Although the needle is much larger than the Ozempic or Victoza, if you have used those medications, uh, since they hide the needle, it's psychologically somewhat better for people who cannot stand seeing the needle. Uh, but given that the, uh, the needles with Ozempic uh, or um, uh, some other medications like Lantos, they're so tiny that you can go with the tiniest needle possible, which hurts as much as a finger stick. So uh, if you are able to do a finger stick, you should be able to do any injections with, with diabetes medications, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, and I think the, uh, the, the technology they put into this pen adds up to the cost. So that's why these medications are extremely expensive. Uh, so it can cost you a thousand dollars or more to your insurance, not to you necessarily, but if your insurance does not cover, uh, you may end up with a bill of a couple thousand dollars for three months supply, and that's not very nice. Now at SugarMDs.com, what we do is um, uh, we have our own pharmacist. We check your insurance to make sure that the medication is covered to begin with, or we look at the whole class. We look at all different medications, see uh, what is really covered uh, under your insurance. So for example, if Ozempic although is much better medication, but if Ozempic is going to cost you $500, but Trulicity will cost you $50 for your insurance, then of course I will choose Trulicity. The difference is not, is not night and day. So, uh, but if uh, if you are paying, let's say, uh, $30 out of pocket for Ozempic versus Trulicity, I'll probably choose Ozempic because I know it works better. But if you tell me that you cannot stand needles, for example, and your insurance covers Ozempic and Trulicity the same, and you uh, like you prefer the, the way it is done, you know, just a push of a button and you don't need to see the needle, then Trulicity may be a better medication for you. So every medication has a merit. Uh, and what we do is we work with the pharmacist uh, and then your insurance, try to get you copay cards and try to get you the minimum out of pocket cost. So if you're one of our patients, you will probably uh, save uh, uh, thousands of dollars. At least, at least you will, you will save, um, say uh, $50 copay uh, versus $10 copay. Uh, although it's a forty dollar difference, that can still add to your budget at the end of the uh, at the end of the day. So there, you will see also some black box warnings about Trulicity or Zampic or any other uh, medication in this class uh, that it 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 talks about uh, some rats developing uh, uh, pancreatic cancer or medullary thyroid cancer. If you have a family history of medullary thyroid cancer or um, pancreatic cancer, uh, you uh, should take uh, caution and probably not use these medications. If you have history of pancreatitis, I would suggest to avoid these medications as well. Uh, now, pancreatitis uh, is an anecdotal evidence that has been reported here and there. Um, so I'm not really concerned about pancreatitis as a side effect. Um, and I don't really see in my practice uh, too often at all. Um, but if you have a history of it, I'll definitely will, uh, will take caution and will try to use an alternative medication. Uh, again, the cancer story, um, uh, it's not necessarily seen in human beings, so it's only seen in rats. So overall, it's a very safe drug. Um, but if you have a family history, if your risk is slightly increased, although the risk is not um, that great uh, in terms of increasing the risk of cancer with pancreatic cancer or medullary thyroid cancer, uh, I would still be cautious if you have family history. Um, so these are the basic uh, fundamentals about Trulicity. Uh, and uh, these are things that they don't tell you on TV ads uh, or they tell you or they, you misunderstand or you don't really understand what's going on with the medications. I hope this helps you um, uh, with understanding Trulicity better. And if you um, 
have any questions, you want to save money, you want to be monitored remotely, you want uh, virtual care, you want telemedicine, we have all that at SugarMD. So consider us and please uh, give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel for more videos. Have a wonderful day.